welcome back to my channel my name is Bree this is balancing life with Bree and today I'm going to be telling you guys four meals that I'm gonna be eating this week that are healthy WW friendly calorie friendly and budget friendly that's the big one here is budget friendly so I got all the ingredients for these four meals plus some extra snackies and I bought a Squishmallow at Kroger and it was $104 for all that and the Squishmallow is 20 so this is all food for under hundred dollars that can feed at least two or more. I cook for two, but I always have leftovers that I take into work. Anyway, without getting any farther, let me just tell you what I'm gonna be making this week. So first thing is Alfredo chicken roll-ups. So I'm kind of going rogue on this recipe. I do have a base recipe that I will link in the description that I kind of am using for inspiration, but to make mine more calorie friendly, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with that. So, also, if you can hear my dishwasher in the background, I apologize. That's what that is. It is what it is. I'm sorry. Okay, first thing you're going to need is some lasagna noodles. I just got the Kroger brand. You just want the thick lasagna noodles, and you're going to cook them up first thing. Once you cook your lasagna noodles, or at the same time, you're going to cook some chicken. So, my Kroger sells these big packs of chicken, and I use these for two separate recipes. So I'm gonna be using half of it for this recipe, half of it for the other recipe, because I feel like when you buy these bigger, it's cheaper, because this was $8.40, but a pack like this was like $9, that was Tyson. So I get this kind, it's cheap, it's good, it's fine. So you're gonna need lasagna noodles, chicken, some Alfredo sauce, I recommend this Classico Creamy Alfredo Sauce. It is 50 calories for a quarter cup, which is good for an Alfredo because Alfredos are normally like fattening, yada yada. but 50 calories for a quarter cup. I will take that any day of the week. You're gonna need some Italian seasoning. Clearly, I need to fill mine up. I have like a big thing of Italian seasoning that I refill these with, so you're gonna need some Italian seasoning. And lastly, some mozzarella cheese so once you cook up your chicken you're gonna mix it with some alfredo sauce some italian seasoning put that in your lasagna noodle roll your lasagna noodle up set them all up in a baking dish and then sprinkle on some part skim mozzarella cheese on top and pop that baby in the oven these are so good i used to make them all the time before i was losing weight and i would use like like make my own Alfredo with heavy cream and yada yada. No, this Alfredo would be just fine. And then for a side for the dinner, I'm going to be having some Ultimate Caesar, these little Dole premium kits. I love these so much. Comes with everything you need, has the dressing, has the croutons, has the spices. I love these. So this is what I'm going to be eating for one meal this week. And now let's get into my next meal. Okay, so the next meal that I'm gonna be making this week is literally so simple. I basically had my entire week of meals already planned out and I needed one more meal and I was like, well, why not just reuse things that I'm going to be using for other meals? So the chicken for the last meal, the other half of the chicken, I'm just going to cook up regular chicken tenderloins and I'm going to put some kicking chicken seasoning on it or I'm going to put some buttery garlic and herb, probably both if I'm being honest with you. I love these two seasonings. So love these bad boys and then i'm going to be making a potato soup which i'll tell you everything you need for that next but i have i bought an entire bag of potatoes and i'm not going to use an entire bag of potatoes so i'm going to make diced potatoes and chicken i do have a red bell pepper that i had left over so i'm going to chop that up throw that in with some of these potatoes and put some cajun seasoning on that and literally it's just chicken and potatoes it's easy it's simple you don't have to go crazy for every single meal you make and this is a perfect example of that i'm gonna like i said i had like leftover items from things and i'm just gonna make another meal with it i might throw some eggs in there and do like a chicken potato egg you never know you know just wherever your mind takes you so this is the second thing i'm probably gonna make this on tuesday or wednesday but super easy super simple and that's literally it. Just chicken, potatoes, and then your favorite seasonings and just kind of cook it on up. There's Jackson. Cook it on up, it's gonna be delish. So that is what I'm doing for one night this week. Now let's get to the next one. All right, so the next recipe I'm actually going to be making tonight because I'm gonna eat it while I watch my Cincinnati Bengals play today. So this is just the easiest, most delicious potato soup 
ever. I will have it linked in my description box. Another one where you don't need a lot of stuff either. So potatoes, like I said, for my chicken potato night, I'm gonna have leftover potatoes, boom. You're gonna need potatoes. You're going to need some chicken broth, chopped onions, garlic, salt and pepper, a little itty bitty bit of butter. I get the cheap old butter because I don't use butter often. So you're gonna need a little bit of butter, some milk, some reduced fat cheddar cheese. And then on top you can add green onions, you can add in sour cream. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of bacon bits and that is all you need for this recipe. It is very, very easy to make. Once you clean your potatoes, cut them, whatever, once it's all done, you just throw it in a blender and it blends it up and makes it like super creamy. And then you leave some potato chunks that are really soft. So it's like soft potato chunks, but then you make like a thick potato base and it is so good. And I feel like it is the perfect start of fall football food and I just can't wait to eat it. It makes a lot of servings. Just an FYI, this is one of those things that I will be bringing in and offering my coworkers because I'm like the food plug at work. I'm telling you, like every single day, I'm like, do you guys want whatever, whatever I make? And they're like, duh, like, why are you even asking me? So I have to run my dishwasher like every single day because I have dishes from my coworkers because I like bring it from home and they give me the dishes back. I'm telling you, I cook for everyone. I am like, here you go, here you go, eat some food. So anyway, I'm gonna be making this and I'm very, very excited because it is so good and I haven't had it in a really long time. So creamy potato soup, can't wait to eat it. Can't wait to watch my football game. Happy Sunday, people. Let's get on to the last and final recipe that I'm gonna be making this week. I'm keeping this week super simple because a couple things. One, I need to catch back up on YouTube because all last week I was, well, not all last week, but a chunk of last week, I was in Detroit for work. And when I'm in Detroit for work, I literally cannot do any filming, anything like that because I'm constantly going, 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 going the entire time I'm there. And then I don't have volleyball this week because our sand volleyball ended last week. Sad, but it ended last week. And then I just feel like I have so much stuff that I have to like do. I have a bunch of film from the other week and I still haven't like been able to edit it yet. So you guys, the next vlog, you guys are gonna get like three weeks worth of stuff because your girl has not had time. But this week I should have time. I wanna spend more time getting stuff together to get my YouTube back on track. I've been saying I'm do gonna do it forever and I'm legit trying. I've just been soups busy. So my goal this week, easy meals to get back on track. And also Thursday night is Scott and I's one year anniversary. So we are going to dinner on Thursday night. So I don't have to cook on Thursday night, but all these other meals I'm gonna be cooking up this week. So be prepared for that. You'll see it on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, I will put it down here for you to see. And without further ado, let's get into the last recipe and then some snackies that I'm gonna be eating this week as well. Okay, so for my last and final recipe that I'm gonna be making this week, I used to make this all the time and it is my two ingredient dough pizza. So what you need for this is kind of dependent on what you want for your pizza, but I'm gonna give you like the basics of what you're gonna need. First thing is some Faye Greek yogurt. It's just a 0% milk fat. To make the dough, I have an entire video on it. Comment down below if you want to see the video and I will, or I'll just link it in the description box, but you're going to use some Greek yogurt. You're going to do equal parts Greek yogurt, equal parts self-rising flour. It has to be self-rising or it will not work. So self-rising flour. Mix that together. Once you do that, I always like to add some garlic powder, pepper, onion powder, and Italian seasoning. All of those seasonings go into my dough, mix it together, roll it out. Super simple, super easy. I have made homemade marinara in the past, but as I kind of just mentioned, I haven't had time to do a lot of stuff. So I just have this Kroger marinara pasta sauce, super easy, 80 calories for a half a cup of sauce. So have that marinara sauce. And then for cheese, I'm gonna be using that low fat mozzarella that I showed you earlier. Just sprinkle some mozzarella cheese on top. I'm gonna be using the leftover bacon bits that I showed you guys earlier for my potato soup. I do have turkey pepperonis in there that I can throw on there, but I'm feeling some jalapeno. So I know for sure I'm gonna put some jalapenos on there. That's why I picked these bad boys up. One thing I will say about the pizza 
that I think is a game changer and it kind of, I feel like it makes it feel like it's bad pizza. What I do is I kind of pinch up the edges of it and then I spray some of this movie theater butter popcorn on it, like the popcorn spray, zero calories. I spray it all around the rim and then I put either garlic powder or garlic salt. It just kind of depends on which one I find first. It tastes basically the same to me, but I'll sprinkle that around the edges. So it's kind of like a garlic butter crust on my pizza. So freaking good. So that is the last meal that I'm gonna be having this week. For snacks, I picked up some of these honey barbecue popable chips. I love these, they're so good. And then I also have some Dots pretzels. I have my Sargento balance breaks that I have all the time. So those are like my little snackies that I'm gonna be taking to work. If you watch my vlogs, you'll see like that's what I'm gonna be taking. But I have seen this all over TikTok and this is the brown butter chocolate chip cookie creamer and your girl wants to try it. So I have my Starbucks vanilla here. I have the cream right here. I'm gonna go get a cup and I'm gonna try that on camera and that's gonna be my very last part of this video because I just, I wanna know. I heard it's so good. I bought some, so let's test her out. Okay, so I have my color changing cup with my nugget ice in there and I'm gonna be taking the little thing out here. Ooh, that, <laughs> Ooh, this could be dangerous, friends. All right, give her a good old shake a -rooney. Here we go, I'm just gonna do one, two. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, here is my Starbucks. This is the vanilla Starbucks coffee. I'm so excited. Got my a fish Starbucks straw. All right, moment of truth. Cheers. Mm. This is so good. It's 35 calories a tablespoon. Not even mad. This is worth every single calorie because it is delicious. It literally, I don't know how to describe it. It's sweet, but it doesn't taste like chocolate chip cookies because I'm not like a mocha creamer girl. This is really good. Definitely recommend if you see this in stores, pick her up because she's bomb. And I decided I was gonna show you guys the Squishmallow that I got. Look how cute, it's a cow. Cows are my favorite. Ah, it's a Halloween cow, this is me as a Squishmallow, like, see the resemblance? Twins. Anyway, so I know this video is kind of all over the place when it comes to the meals, but I wanted simple, easy meals that were inexpensive because your girl's trying to save money too because Scott and I are going to the Dominican Republic in December and, you know, penny pension for days because I want to go on vacation. So that's what I'm doing. So if you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you're eating this week to give me and spell for next week. And as always, I want you to remember that every day is a new day to pop, lock, and drop those pounds. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.